In this video, we'll balance the equation for FeS2 plus O2. So let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation, and then we'll balance it. We have one iron, two sulfur atoms, and then two oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have the two iron, just one sulfur, and oxygen, we have three plus two. So we have five oxygen atoms. Make sure you count all of the oxygen atoms on the product side. I like to leave the oxygens to last, especially when I have O2. So let's fix the iron atoms first. We just put a two in front of the FeS2, so one times two. That balances the irons, two times two for the sulfur. Now we have four sulfurs. Let's fix the sulfurs. We can put a four in front of the sulfur dioxide, one times four, that equals four. Then we should update the oxygen atoms. Now we have the three, plus four times two, that's eight. So now we have 11 oxygen atoms. So there are two things you could do here. One, you could double this Fe2O3. That would make this an even number. And then you'd have to update a lot of things, but that would work. And the other way, and it would give the same answer in the end, is we could say two times some number equals 11. Two times 11 over two, that would equal 11. So we could put our coefficient here 11 over 2, and this equation, it's balanced. Some teachers don't like to have this fraction here. So to fix that, you can just multiply everything by 2. So we have 2 times 2. That gives us 4. And if we multiply 2 times 11 over 2, we just end up with 11. 2 times the 1 here, that's 2. And then 2 times 4, that would give us 8. And these would be the coefficients for the equation FeS2 plus O2 gives us this Fe2O3 plus SO2. So either way, leave the O2 for last when you're balancing equations. You want to try to get it to an even number, or you can use this method where you multiply it by a fraction. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for FeS plus O2. Thanks for watching.